In a sea of movies about exorcisms, it's very refreshing to see a film that takes tradition and foreign cultures into this mix, and I am excited to talk to you about the old ways. Practice is the old ways. Yes. The movie is set in Mexico on the coast of Veracruz, where an LA based but of Mexican origin investigator goes to check out shamanism, witchcraft, and healing, and the natives capture her and hold her because they say she has a demon inside of her and they need to perform an exorcism in a traditional old way style. This movie has all of the ingredients that I love. Not only did it talk about something supernatural, but something that it's ingrained in a particular cultural belief and practice. And those of you who might have noticed that I have an accent, part of that accent is Spanish. I grew up in Mexico. I lived 11 years in beautiful Mexico. So anything that showcases Mexican tradition, folklore, native language, I am extremely excited to check out. So when the old ways showed up on Netflix, I was like, yeah, I gotta check it out. To break down everything that you might think, oh, well, this is another exorcism movie. Let me tell you, it's definitely not. Yes, the formula falls into, is this person possessed or not? And the procedural on how the exorcism is performed, it's definitely there. But all of the elements of the folklore of the area of Veracruz the language, the different practices, the rites of passage that are in the film make this a definite standout. Not long ago, I reviewed an Italian film that deals with old ways of doing healing and exorcisms called The Binding, and I honestly feel this is basically the counterpart of Mexican origin for that kind of story, where you take traditions and old ways of dealing with the supernatural, taking it as, in fact, it is happening, and dealing with it in a very traditional rite of passage way. And that is where the movie definitely stands out. Something inside you. Bringing authenticity to already interesting practices and incantations and the objects that are used and the little pieces of demons or possessions that we see there is a fantastic cast. I am extremely happy to see actors that I have seen on Mexican TV and film screens do this kind of work where it is outstanding because not only are they performing in two different languages, but they're performing in a movie that I feel touches points of culture that are of interest, but also very taboo to talk about. I'm talking specifically about Sal Lopez and Julia Vera, who are just outstanding in this film. And they are the ones who are performing the rites of exorcism throughout several days. Another standout here is the main actress who has to balance a life of addiction, a life of investigative journalism, a difficult past on why she left her country and why she was hesitant to go back, and Brigitte Canales, who is actually from Florida and has Latin origins, she's performing an amazing balance between, I'm trying to make sense of this as a person of logic and a person of investigation, as well as I have a lot of baggage with me that I need to deal with before I'm able to deal with the situation of I'm being kidnapped and I could be possessed and a person that I thought can help me is actually there to keep me in this process of an exorcism. So performance-wise, effects-wise, soundtrack-wise, lore-wise, it's definitely a very solid entry into the amazing genre of exorcism movies with a beautiful folklore ensemble colorful and very easy to understand moments and definitely a lot of tradition that I definitely wanted to go in and learn more about. 
The main drawback for me in this film, and this is just being picky about what I would love to see in a film like this, is that although it's supposed to be set in Veracruz, Mexico, it was filmed in Puerto Rico. Now, I understand it was filmed during COVID times and some parts of the movie were filmed in Los Angeles, it's cheaper to film where you're from, I get that. And also traveling internationally with all of the COVID restrictions and unknowns was difficult, so I get why the director and the film crew chose to shoot in Puerto Rico. However, I have been to Veracruz and many places that are filled with magic and you can feel that just being in the location and I know that would be easily perceived in the camera and the sound design. I wish this movie was filmed in Veracruz where it's supposed to be. The other interesting part of this is that the director and the writer, are, they're not Mexican, which I bet they did a lot of investigation about tradition and different rites of passages surrounding the supernatural in that area. And it's seen on screen, like there's a lot of very interesting details. I wonder how authentic those things are and how legitimate they are of a representation of what practices are done in Veracruz. So those are my two tiny little bits of I wish they would have improved by filming in Mexico and having uh, maybe a Mexican co-writer that they could have given more legitimate representation of folklore and tradition. But aside from that, wow! I mean, this movie is definitely out there in terms of good scares, interesting story, and legitimate and careful representation of the subject matter, which is exorcism that's happening in a different place. So, I honestly hope you check it out. The Old Ways, an exorcism movie set in Mexico with a lot of very interesting cultural bits of information and rights surrounding exorcisms. And, of course, the main protagonist has a lot of baggage to deal with and has to find what is her place in this world if she even begins to mentally and physically be able to be part of it. I wonder if you have seen it, and if so, why did you think about it? And if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. I'm Jim from Get Me More, and you know where to find me. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye-bye.